Kayla Harrison, congratulations. Defending your Tokyo Grand Slam title. How do you feel after your final and your, your gold medal? Thank you very much. Um, I feel <laughs> I feel exhausted, to be honest, but I also feel relieved. Um, it was a really hard day for me mentally and physically, but I know after today that I've known for a long time that I'm mentally one of the toughest people in my division, but today I have no more doubts, so I'm happy. I heard you getting some inspirational words from your coach throughout the semi-final and final in particular. How much did it help? How much did he help you come through those fights today? Yeah. Well, I'm very lucky. I have an amazing team behind me. We have our, uh, our um, what's the word I'm looking for? Someone, our <laughs> athletic trainer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> our athletic trainer here. I have both Jimmy and Big Jim here, our manager Skelly, my teammates. So to have all of them supporting me, but especially to have Jimmy in the chair, he's so, He's so competitive himself and he's such a fierce leader that you don't want to ever let him down. And I was fighting today injured. I um, separated my AC joint last week, so I didn't even know if I was going to fight and we decided just to take it one match at a time. But having him there and having him push me to levels that I don't think I've ever been to before, um, it changed my day, you know, and it made me be able to come home with a win, which is ultimately what I wanted from this tour. So. The category today was stacked with top level opponents. You had the world champion, you had Gemma Gibbons, who was your Olympic final opponent. Um, how important for you to come against some of the top opposition in the category and come out on top? Yeah, I think, you know, I want, anytime we step on the mat, I want to dominate and I want people to know that this is my division. And again, I had a lot of doubt with myself today, but coming away from this, being able to win in a pool of Umeki and Gibbons and Aguiar and Valinchnik and you know I feel much more confident and I feel like I'm so happy that I was able to finish the year on a good note and head to Rio. It's really good. Uh, the Asia Tour, three tournaments, three medals. How how much confidence does that give you now for going into a nice little break? <laughs> well, it gives me some prize money, so my Christmas presents to my family are going to be good this year. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, you never want to come home empty-handed, especially as world number one and the current Olympic champion. People notice if you mess up. So there's a little bit of added pressure, but ultimately this is all practice. If I didn't win today, I would be upset, but it doesn't mean anything. What means something is Rio, and that's what I'm excited for. Great. Thank you very much, Kayla. Congratulations.